September 11th, 2025, Edwards Air Force Base, California. A second B-21 Raider silently cuts through the sky, escorted by an F-16 chase plane. But this isn't just another test flight. This is the moment America's most advanced stealth bomber program shifts into high gear. What the Air Force just revealed about this aircraft's capabilities has defense experts stunned. We're talking about technology so advanced, it makes the legendary B-2 Spirit look outdated. And the price tag? Less than half of what the B-2 cost. But here's what nobody's talking about. This bomber can do something no other aircraft in history has ever done. Stick around, because what you're about to learn will change everything you thought you knew about air superiority. Welcome to Jet Insight. The B-21 Raider isn't just another bomber. It's a sixth-generation marvel that's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. And with the second test aircraft now flying, the Air Force has finally pulled back the curtain on capabilities that sound like science fiction. Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know about America's newest strategic weapon and why our adversaries are losing sleep over it. The September Breakthrough on September 11, 2025, something remarkable happened at Edwards Air Force Base. The second B-21 Raider completed its maiden flight, departing from Northrop Grumman's Plant 42 in Palmdale and touching down at Edwards with precision. Air Force Secretary Troy Mank called it a game changer. And he's right. Here's why this matters. For nearly two years, the Air Force had just one flying B-21, conducting basic performance checks. One aircraft, limited testing slow progress. But now, with two Raiders in the air, everything accelerates. The testing program can finally move beyond flight performance and dive into the real stuff – weapons integration, mission systems, and combat readiness evaluations. Think about what this means for our warfighters. The first B-21 has been flying one to two sorties every week since November 2023. That's steady methodical testing, but having a second aircraft doubles the pace. Maintainers get hands-on experience with simultaneous operations. Engineers can test different systems on each aircraft at the same time. The learning curve just got steeper, in the best possible way, and the Air Force isn't stopping there. Three more B-21s are scheduled to join the flight test campaign soon. That's five flying Raiders working together to validate every aspect of this revolutionary platform. From extreme weather conditions to simulated combat scenarios, these aircraft are being pushed to their limits. General David Alvin, the Air Force Chief of Staff, put it perfectly. He said adding this second aircraft accelerates the path to fielding operational raiders faster. That urgency matters, because while we've been developing the B-21, our adversaries haven't been sitting still. China and Russia have invested heavily in advanced air defense systems designed specifically to counter American stealth technology. The B-21 is our answer, and it's arriving right on schedule. If you're proud of American innovation and military superiority, type proud in the comments below. But here's something that'll blow your mind. The B-21 program is actually running on time and on budget. When was the last time you heard that about a major defense program? The F-35 was plagued with delays and cost overruns. The KC-46 tanker? Same story. But the B-21? Lieutenant General Andrew Gabara confirmed it. Basically on time basically on budget, and producing real results. That's a win for taxpayers and a testament to smart acquisition strategy. Stealth like never before. Now let's talk about what makes the B-21 Raider the stealthiest aircraft ever built. And we're not exaggerating. Northrop Grumman, the company behind the legendary B-2 Spirit, calls the B-21 a quantum leap forward in low observable technology. Start with the basics. The B-21 uses a flying wing design, just like the B-2. No vertical stabilizers. No protruding surfaces. Everything blends together into one smooth, continuous surface. But here's where it gets interesting. The B-21 is actually smaller than the B-2. It spans roughly 140 to 150 feet, compared to the B-2's 172-foot wingspan. Why does that matter? Because every inch of reduction in size means a smaller radar cross-section, less surface area for enemy radar waves to bounce off, less chance of detection. The materials are next level too. The B-2 required constant maintenance because its radar absorbent coating degraded quickly. Those bombers had to be stored in climate-controlled hangars just to protect the stealth coating. Expensive, time-consuming, 
not ideal for rapid deployment. The B-21 solves that problem with advanced composite materials that are far more durable. These new coatings hold up better in harsh conditions and require significantly less maintenance. That means more Raiders ready to fly at any given moment. But the real magic happens with the engine exhaust. Recent photos from the second B-21's flight revealed something fascinating. The exhaust system looks remarkably similar to the B-2's design, which was revolutionary in its day. The engines are buried deep inside the airframe. Hot exhaust gases get routed through long internal ducts before being expelled through broad, shallow slots on the upper trailing edge of the wing. Why? Because this shields the hottest parts of the engines from infrared sensors looking up from below. Surface-to-air missiles that track heat signatures? They'll have a much harder time locking onto a B-21. And here's something most people miss. The B-21's stealth isn't just about radar and infrared. It's all aspect stealth. That means it's designed to be nearly invisible from every angle. Front, sides, rear, top, bottom. The B-2 was primarily optimized for frontal stealth because it was designed to penetrate Soviet air. Defenses head-on. The B-21 takes it further. In a modern battle space with networked air defenses and sensors everywhere, you need 360-degree protection. The B-21 delivers. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. Now some critics will say, but China claims its air defenses can detect stealth aircraft. Let's address that head on. Yes, low frequency surveillance radars can sometimes detect that something is out there. They might get a general sense that an object exists in a certain area. But detecting and tracking are two completely different things. To actually shoot down an aircraft, you need high frequency engagement radar that can establish a precise target track, calculate speed and trajectory, and guide a missile to intercept. That's exponentially harder against a true stealth platform. And the B-21 stealth technology is classified for exactly this reason. To keep our adversaries guessing about just how invisible it really is. More than just a bomber. Here's where things get really interesting. The B-21 Raider isn't just a stealth bomber. It's a flying command and control center. A sensor node in the sky, a quarterback for drone operations. This is sixth generation warfare and the B-21 sits right at the center of it. Former Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin talked about this at the B-21's unveiling ceremony back in 2022. He said the bomber's sensing, computing, and communications technologies would prove even more impactful than its stealth exterior. That's a bold statement from a former Army general. But he understood something crucial. Modern warfare isn't about single platforms operating alone. It's about networked systems working together, sharing data in real time, making decisions faster than the enemy can react. So what does that actually mean? Picture this. A B-21 Raider penetrates deep into contested airspace where surface-to-air missiles and enemy fighters patrol constantly. But it's not flying alone. It's controlling a swarm of unmanned drones flying ahead of it. These drones are testing enemy air defenses, gathering intelligence, identifying targets, and transmitting everything back to the B-21. The bomber's advanced sensors process all that data, fuse it with information from satellites and other aircraft, and distributes targeting solutions across the entire joint force, all while remaining virtually invisible. This is what open systems architecture makes possible. The B-21 was designed from day one to integrate new technologies as they become available. New sensors? Plug them in. Advanced weapons? Easy integration. Artificial intelligence upgrades? No problem. Compare that to legacy platforms like the B-52 or even the B-2 which require costly and time-consuming modifications every time you want to add new capabilities. The B-21's modular design means it can evolve with the threat environment without breaking the bank. And here's something that should concern our adversaries. The B-21 can fly unmanned missions. That's right, no pilot in the cockpit if the mission requires it. Now, the Air Force hasn't laid out a specific timeline for autonomous operations yet, but the capability is built in. Imagine a scenario where manned B-21s coordinate with unmanned B-21s, multiplying combat power without putting additional pilots at risk. That's the future, and it's closer than most people realize. The weapons integration is equally impressive. The B-21's internal weapons bays are designed to carry next-generation standoff weapons. We're talking about the AGM-181 long-range standoff missile, which will replace the AG nuclear-armed cruise missiles currently in service. 
the GBU-72 Advanced Bunker Buster for hardened targets, hypersonic weapons that can strike at speeds exceeding Mach 5. And because of that modular weapons bay design, future weapons that haven't even been invented yet can be integrated without major modifications. The Strategic Game Changer Let's talk strategy. Why does America need the B-21 Raider right now? The answer comes down to geography, threats, and capability gaps. Start with the Indo-Pacific. China has been building up its military at an alarming rate. Anti-access area denial systems, or A2AD, are everywhere. Long-range missiles that can hit targets hundreds or even thousands of miles away. Advanced radar systems networked together for redundant coverage. Fighter jets designed specifically to intercept American aircraft. The goal is simple. Keep American forces away from areas China considers vital, like Taiwan and the South China Sea. Traditional bombers can't operate effectively in that environment. The B-52 has no stealth capability whatsoever. It's a sitting duck against modern air defenses. The B-1 Lancer, also non-stealthy, and the fleet is worn out from decades of hard use in the Middle East. That leaves just 18 operational B-2 Spirits, and they're getting old. When the Air Force conducted strikes on Iranian nuclear facilities in June 2025, it required seven B-2s for a single mission. Seven out of 18. That's nearly 40% of the entire B-2 fleet committed to one operation. The B-21 changes the calculus entirely, with a planned fleet of at least 100 aircraft and possibly as many as 145 to 200 depending on final procurement decisions, the Air Force will have the numbers it needs to sustain operations across multiple theaters simultaneously. Need to hold targets at risk in the Pacific while maintaining nuclear deterrence against Russia? The B-21 fleet can do both. Need to conduct deep strike missions into heavily defended airspace? The Raider is purpose-built for exactly that mission. And here's something that keeps military planners awake at night. The distances in the Pacific Theater are enormous. Anderson Air Force Base in Guam is 1,700 nautical miles from Taiwan, one way. Fighters operating from Guam would be pushing their combat radius to the absolute limit, requiring multiple aerial refuelings just to reach the fight. And if hostilities escalate, Guam itself becomes a target for Chinese long-range missiles. It's not survivable as a forward operating base. The B-21 solves that problem with intercontinental range. It can fly approximately 6,000 miles without refueling, though the exact figure remains classified. That means raiders can operate from bases in the continental United States, strike targets deep in contested areas, and return home without relying on potentially vulnerable forward bases. That strategic flexibility our adversaries simply can't match. Russia presents a different but equally serious challenge. Their S-400 and S-500 air defense systems are among the most capable in the world. Russian state media loves to boast that these systems can track and destroy stealth aircraft. But there's a big difference between detecting that something is there and actually hitting it. The B-21's advanced stealth features, combined with electronic warfare capabilities and standoff weapons, give American planners options they didn't have before. Options that don't put pilots unnecessarily at risk. Smart acquisition, smart spending. Let's address the elephant in the room, cost. Military programs often get criticized for ballooning budgets and endless delays. The F-35 program has cost hundreds of billions of dollars and faced years of setbacks. The literal combat ship program, plagued with problems. The KC-46 tanker, behind schedule and over budget. So when the B-21 program started, skeptics had every reason to doubt it would be different. But it is different, remarkably so. Each B-21 Raider costs approximately $692 million in 2022 dollars. Now that's not pocket change, but compare it to the B-2 Spirit, which costs nearly $2 billion per aircraft. The B-21 delivers better stealth, more advanced technology, and greater operational flexibility, all for about a third of the price. That's what smart acquisition looks like. How did they do it? Several key decisions made all the difference. First, the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office managed the program instead of going through the traditional bureaucratic procurement process. That streamlined decision-making and reduced red tape. Second, Northrop Grumman used mature technologies wherever possible instead of inventing everything from scratch. The engines, for example, are derivatives 
of the Pratt & Whitney F-135 used in the F-35. Proven, reliable, and significantly cheaper than developing all new engines. Third, and this is crucial, the program embraced digital engineering from the start. Before cutting any metal, Northrop Grumman created thousands of design iterations in a virtual environment. They tested systems, identified problems, and made changes digitally before physical construction began. That caught issues early when they're cheap and easy to fix, rather than discovering them during flight testing when modifications cost exponentially more. The open systems architecture we mentioned earlier, that's also a cost-saving measure. Instead of being locked into proprietary systems that require you know, expensive upgrades, the B-21 can integrate off-the-shelf technology as it matures. Need to upgrade the avionics? Swap in new modules without redesigning the entire aircraft. That keeps long-term sustainment costs manageable, and Congress just reinforced its commitment to the program. In April 2025, the Department of Defense allocated an additional $4.5 billion specifically to accelerate B-21 production as part of a massive $150 billion supplemental defense budget. That funding supports continued development, production scale-up, personnel training, and supply chain expansion. The message is clear. America is all in on the B-21 Raider. The Air Force's 2026 budget request includes $10.3 billion for the B-21 program. That's a significant investment, but it's paying dividends. Northrop Grumman has already received a second low-rate initial production contract and is ramping up manufacturing. The production line that built the test aircraft is the same line that will build operational Raiders, which means processes are proven and repeatable. No need to retool factories or retrain workers when production scales up. Infrastructure improvements are underway at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota which will receive the first operational B-21 squadron. New hangars, updated runways, maintenance facilities, everything needed to support the Raider fleet is being built right now. The base temporarily relocated its entire B-1 Lancer fleet to Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota, just to make room for construction. That's commitment. The road ahead, so what happens next? With two B-21s flying and three more joining soon, testing accelerates rapidly. Engineers will validate everything, Extreme weather operations, high-altitude performance, weapons separation, and electronic warfare scenarios. Weapons integration is the major focus. The B-21 needs certification for conventional precision munitions, cruise missiles, nuclear bombs, and hypersonic weapons. Digital twin technology speeds this up dramatically. Engineers simulate everything virtually before actual flight tests. The B-2 took seven years to certify. The B-21 will do it much faster. Maintainer training is ramping up at Edwards. Crews are mastering simultaneous repairs and new maintenance tools. These lessons transfer directly to Ellsworth Air Force Base when operational squadrons arrive. The Air Force expects initial operational capability before 20s and 30. Full capability with 100 to 200 bombers extends into the 2030s. Quality trumps speed. Better to do it right. Australia has considered acquiring B-21s too. One Raider flies 2,500 miles carrying more firepower than multiple F-35s. That allied interest proves the B-21's true value. Conclusion The B-21 Raider is America's commitment to air superiority for decades to come. Breakthrough, stealth, advanced networking, smart cost controls, and accelerating production. Everything our Air Force needs to face near-peer adversaries. September 11, 2025 mark the turning point. The second B-21 taking flight means we're shifting from development to operational preparation. Our warfighters will soon have a tool no adversary can match. A bomber that can go anywhere, strike any target, and return home safely. That's the B-21 Raider. That's American ingenuity. That's why we maintain the strongest air force on the planet. If this opened your eyes to what's coming, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight for more coverage of American military power. Thanks for watching.